Hello and welcome back to the CNS Pharmacology Masterclass where we discuss all the medications that work on the central nervous system. And here we will talk about another analgesic medication and that is the metamazole, which is better known as the Naval gene. So in this video we will talk about a definition, mechanism of action, therapeutic uses, adverse effects of the novel gene. So if you want to skip to other parts of this video, you can by using the chapters in the video description. And regarding the pictures, on the left we have the chemical structure of the novel gene. The black spheres are for the carbon atoms, the white spheres are for the hydrogen atoms, the red spheres are for the oxygen atoms, the blue spheres are for the nitrogen atoms and the yellow sphere is for the sulfur atom. And the picture on the right is for the uh, novel gene intravenous formula. So before we explain the pharmacology of the novel gene, uh, first let's explain where the novel gene sits in relation with other analgesics that are used in medicine. So generally speaking, we have four groups of analgesics. We have the opioid analgesics, which we already explained in the CNS pharmacology class. The second group is the NSAIDs. And the third group is the analgesics, antibiotics medications, which the novel gene is from. And also there is the paracetamol and the nefopam. And the fourth group is the non-analgesic medications that work as analgesics for some conditions like the carbamazepine for trigeminal neuralgia and eloxetine for diabetic neuropathy. So let's start with an overview of the novel gene. So the scientific names of the novel gene are metamazole or dipyron. So either one of those is a scientific name for the drug and the most famous trade name is the novel gene. It is an analgesic, means it relieves pain, antispasmodic, it relieves spasm, and it is an antibiotic, it relieves fever type of medication. And it was first synthesized in 1922 in Germany, and the novel gene is banned in some countries due to studies suggesting severe drug adverse effects, such as a granulocytosis. And more on that on the adverse effects section of this video. So regarding the pharmacokinetics of the novel gene, so it is available as oral, intramuscular, and intravenous formulas. The oral formula is well absorbed with 100% bioavailability, and it is metabolized by the liver and excreted in urine and feces. And the elimination half-life of the novel gene is 14 minutes for the parent compound and 2-4 to four hours for it is metabolites. And the metabolites of the novel gene are active metabolites. So the therapeutic duration of the medication would last for 2-4 to four hours. Now let's talk about the mechanism of action of the novel gene. So it is an unknown mechanism of action, but the most accepted theory is that it works by inhibiting the brain and spinal cord prostaglandins to relieve the pain and fever. So it inhibits the prostaglandins in the brain and spinal cord. And it also works as antispasmodic uh, somehow. Regarding the therapeutic uses of this medication, it is used as analgesic for moderate to severe pain, example the peri and post operative pain, and for colic, for cancer pain, and trauma related pain. It has more potent analgesia than the aspirin, but it has no anti inflammatory action. So if we compare it to aspirin, it has better analgesia, but it doesn't have anti inflammatory action. Now let's talk about the adverse effects of the novel gene. So it leads to a granulocytosis 
as I mentioned before, and this means it lead to uh, decreasing the white blood cell count in some cases. And it may also lead to aplastic anemia, which means that all the white cells and the red cells count will decrease in the blood. And that means it would lead to bone marrow suppression. And compared to NSAIDs, novel gene causes less kidney, cardiovascular, and GIT side effects. And some studies suggested that the diclofenac analgesic medication, which is from the NSAIDs, causes more agranulocytosis than the novel gene does. But somehow the novel gene is much less used than the diclofenac is. And it may trigger bronchospasm or anaphylaxis, especially in asthma patient. So at least to some allergic reactions like bronchospasm and anaphylaxis. And it also trigger another hypersensitivity reactions like toxic epidermal necrolysis because it is chemically related to sulfonamides. And sulfonamides are very famous for them, leading to allergic reactions. And because of that, the novel gene also lead to allergic reactions like bronchospasm, anaphylaxis, and toxic epidermal necrolysis. Finally, let's talk about the contraindications of the novel gene. So it is contraindicated if the patient has a previous hypersensitivity re reactions to the same medication or to sulfonamides. It also contraindicated in impaired hematopoiesis. So it means it is contraindicated when the bone marrow is not healthy. Example would be during chemotherapy because chemotherapy lead to bone marrow suppression. And it is also contraindicated in the third trimester of pregnancy and lactation. And finally, it is contraindicated in children with body weight less than 16 kilograms. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe. And if you want to support more, you can by subscribing to the Patreon, link provided in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching and peace.